does the world still need this? Does the world still want this? And the answer is definitely yes. And you know, when Terry says that these plays, they are foundational texts. So if you engage with fiction in the world in any way as an expression of humanity, it's a way to think about the world, but Shakespeare plays a role in that. And so I always feel like I'm interested in being in conversation with that history, and I'm interested in being in conversation with the way in which Shakespeare would have made his plays for his audiences, and the way in which we can take these same basic ideas, these same basic stories, and bring them to people now. And I don't know that this play speaks truth to power or allows us to take our collective angst and fear and, and put it into something that asks, asks a big poignant question about what's happening in our world. But what it does do is it reminds us that it's good to be peaceable and to have love. And the characters in this play function, to borrow a phrase, they're stronger together. And I feel like we are presented with this chance to get in front of people and let them laugh, and let them dream, and let them think about what's good. <laughs> and I'm incredibly grateful to have been in this dialogue with Terry going all the way back to when we did Romeo and Juliet. And all I really cared about was trying to get this, get this classic play on a stage the way that you could hear it again. And without him, I wouldn't have taken this journey with Alex, where I have found a way with his brilliant artistry um, to illuminate these plays in a way that I didn't understand before. And that's all credit to this theater taking a chance on a 30-year-old director who had never directed a Shakespeare play. And so it's really special to come back after all this time to continue to collaborate with this theater um, to revisit Shakespeare. And Aaron Posner, who directed that production, is as big of a, a role in my life as an artist as anybody. Um, and so to be in conversation with him, my friend, um, in the work that he created with all of those people who Terry mentioned, who all of you in this room are friends with or know or have seen perform, um, that's a really unique thing that we get to do. And I think over all those years of Shakespeare's company working together, that's the feeling that you got. And that's what makes Philadelphia so unique and special. People in this room, we live here, we work here, we raise our kids here. And the idea of, over time, we collect a love and a feeling for how to make the world a little better. And we don't have a better delivery system available to us than this play in Shakespeare. So I hope that over the next two and a half months, the building sparkles a little bit more, it feels a little bit more like hope is still possible.